a quick update on my wrapping cloth. Um, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you about it. But anyway, I had a panel that wasn't finished. Um, and it's finished now. So I'm going to pin it on here. So if you remember, I said, I wasn't sure where it was going to go. But one of the things to take into consideration was the, hang on, oh dear. Was the fabric um oh, that's better so this fabric okay so i couldn't lay it in certain places where i've already used that fabric so i couldn't lay it here for example and excuse me i'm full of a cold and i couldn't lay it there so i've put it down here okay because they're not it's not the same fabrics. So and I press the uh, thing over to give me a seam allowance. And I don't have to do anything with this piece because I just lay this on top. So if I pin this on and then I'll embellish the seam. Now, I was going to say I'm not sure how I'm going to embellish that seam, but it's a lie because. Wait right, a minute, it's doubled over. Because I'm going to do bullion knots. <laughs> because I just love bullion knots. Hang on a minute, it's all messed up. And I always do it by eye, and I invariably get this stage right. I do have a set square, so when I've pinned it, I'll probably get my set square um, and just check that it's okay, that it's straight. I can also look at what's going on around it to find that out. Um, this definitely needs damp stretched. So I'm looking and, you know, and I think I'm pretty confident that it's straight. Um, so if I just pin it on and then I'll baste it, I'll definitely baste it because I can't, obviously, well, you just got to baste it, but and because you'd never get it in your hoop. I always use a hoop to do bullion knots. Um, and also... It's just not good practice to try and stitch when you've got pins in something like this. Especially with bullion knots, because you're doing a lot of wraps on the needle. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll be doing 35 wraps. And you're just going to wrap them around the pin and your thread's going to get shredded and it's just going to be a nightmare. So I would always tell you to baste. Pin it first, then baste it. So there, so that's that pinned on. And then I've got another panel that I've started. It still needs quite a bit of work. What have I done with it? I thought it was on here. Oh, it's here. So this is another one that I've started. I've got a bit of vintage lace on there. And I will probably bully and knot that too. And I've got one grandmother's flower garden on. I'm in the process of putting another one on. And I've got another one to go on there. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I think grandmother's flower garden... Oh flower garden is the theme here really because I've got one on here there's one two three four or five on that piece that's quite a big piece um, I've got one there one there one there I've got one there and I've got one there and I don't actually think this is far from being finished it's quite a good size now um, well, safety, there's still a lot of hours to do, but I'm happy with how it's progressing. And I like the fact that this is just something, I'm not on a mission to finish it. I'm not aiming for a specific date or anything to get this done. It's just something that I pick up as and when I've got nothing more pressing going on. Um, I mean, it could take me another three months, not because the stitching will take that long, but because it's one of those projects that's there when you need something to work on. Um, so I'm quite happy for it to progress in that way. And I'm really happy with how it's, uh, with how it's going. Um, yeah.